As of Tuesday, the Palestinian death toll has risen to more than 600. For more, let's go to CCTV's Sean Calebs in our newsroom. And Sean, obviously Palestinians are outraged at the ever-growing death toll, and Hamas has indicated they will not agree to an unconditional ceasefire. Has anything changed on this? Well, Susan, nothing has changed so far. Uh, Hamas uh, has been adamant about this the entire time. They believe they were not consulted by Egypt ahead of uh, the uh, ceasefire proposal, and they have some very real concerns about the Egyptian government uh, uh, operating currently now. Uh, also, uh, they are uh, somewhat obviously uh, concerned uh, about the position, how uh, the uh, two sides ended up where they are uh, right now with uh, the massive civilian uh, death toll, and you're talking about more than 600 killed, 3,300 wounded. Uh, also, I, I think one thing that Hamas has been adamant about, it wants uh, the, uh, the border open. It has been closed since uh, 2007, and, they, and Hamas says it wants to be able to go back and forth, and until it gets to that point that there's really nothing to talk about. Susan? Sean, Israeli attacks clearly doing significant damage to Hamas' ability to fight the Palestinian death toll, more than 600 to compare to what almost 30 Israelis. What does Hamas have to say about all of it? Well, I think Hamas is uh, very concerned about uh, the way uh, this ground war has really unfolded since last Thursday. Uh, if you look at the, the pictures that we're seeing now, it's a heavily civilian area. We have reports that a, a high-rise was brought down uh, in one area, 24 people in one family buried beneath the rubble. Also, we know that an Israeli tank missile struck the third floor of a hospital in the heart of Gaza, uh, affecting operating theaters, operating rooms, recovery rooms. Uh, four people at least were killed in that attack, uh, 60 others uh, wounded. Uh, so. But on the flip side, Hamas has launched more than 2,000 rockets uh, into uh, Israel in the last uh, two weeks or so. But in just the past day, that number has dwindled to about 100. Uh, Israel says it's too early to say uh, if that is going to be a, a, a beacon of things to come or if this is just a short-term uh, event. Susan? CCTV's Sean Caleb updating us from the newsroom. Thank you very much for that.